Hey, this is your boy Glenn Sutton. Um, I'm, I'm so, I, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say on the things that uh, Mr. Darrell Armstrong and Kevin Key have said about me. And as they were talking, I'm thinking, and who they talk about? And you don't know the people that that you that you influence. You and you think you, everybody's doing it, but sometimes people are not doing. It. And so I'm just so appreciative that um, they saw that at me. And I just, I guess, I guess my goal is, is to, uh, I want everybody to, to to have a chance to feel to fulfill their dream. It's something about it, and it's something about the journey of the dream. It it, it causes you to live again. It causes you to live. You, you may have a dream of a, doing a daycare or doing this or doing that, but it's your dream, that dream that God has given you. But Kevin Key and Daryl Armstrong, I mean, yeah. Made my day. I mean, you made it April, my birthday, April 14th. And y'all, y'all hit it on a nail because you don't know what a person going through at that time. The reason why I'm saying that because Sunday, I had a major challenge. Man, it, 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 it's like smacked me in the face. And it kind of like threw me off a little bit. And to hear those words, you know what it did? It got me back focused again. Sometimes it, we do more. If we do more compliments instead of correction, I think our community, our world, our schools would, would be a lot better. But we want to correct people all the time, you know, and think it's going to be better. I mean, compliment. Just tell, hey, you're doing a good job. Let's say that. Something small. I mean, and, and, and if you do that, I think uh, the atmosphere would change. But I just, but I just, uh, I don't know what to say. Daryl, Sky, Kevin, y'all. Y'all bless me, man. I'm telling you, man. Yo, you know, and the same go for y'all. You know, y'all. You know, you say I part stuff in y'all life, y'all part of my life, because girl, you was in the NBA, I was able to show my students, you know, when you was on TV dunking and stuff and making all that money, money, no need to live alone. <laughs> Just kidding. And Kevin, man, I'm telling you, man, we went through a lot. I remember, but let's hold. Let me tell you about Kevin Key. I got, I got, wait, I got to tell the story. Now, Kevin Key said what I did for him. But let me tell you what he did. <laughs> this is a funny story. It was funny back then. One day we was, we was leaving from D.C. going back to Fayetteville. And I had class that morning. So we left at 3, about 2.30 in the morning. And we was broke. I had enough gas to get from, from I think, from Kevin's house to Fayetteville State. I knew that. And we had another uh, young lady with us. I can't, I can't remember her name. One of uh, D.C. One of D.C. Uh, homegirls. Anyway, we riding. No, Ke I think Kevin, I think I, I think I started off driving first. Then I got sleepy and I gave it to Kevin. So we driving, and all of a sudden, we were like right in Virginia. The car stopped. Oh, man. Remember, I'm broke. Kevin broke. And I think that girl had like $2.25. Oh, man. We couldn't. We couldn't do nothing. So we stay on the side. We look in the car. We, we, we open the hood up, right? Look in there and don't know where to look, don't know where to look at. It just wasn't starting. So somehow I just started touching stuff. And then it came back on. Roll down, roll, roll down, roll another hour. Same thing. Stopped again. But this time another guy came and helped us out. And we, we couldn't get it. So anyway, it's, it's about 12 o'clock. We still in Virginia. We haven't ate all day. We ain't got no money. But Kevin, mother, made him a sandwich for for one of Kevin's roommates. Now remember, we haven't ate almost 10, 11 hours. We, we all hungry. It was like a, a steak sandwich. I said, Kevin, what you got? He said, I have a steak sandwich for my uh, friend, and for my roommate. I said, well, look, man, we need to eat that because, man, we, we all broke. He said, nah, man, no, we can't eat that. This is for him. I said, Kevin, listen, what? We, we broke. We've been here for 10 hours already, man. He nah, man, I can't do that. So, so now, you, so now you know I'm mad. I'm mad, I'm hot, man. I'm sorry. So anyway, we get back on the road for a little while, and then two hours later, the car broke down. Broke down. It did this for like three or four times. It took us about almost like 16, 17 hours to get from D.C. to Fayetteville. So, you know, driving them last hours, I was steaming. Steaming and hungry. I was hungry. He had that sandwich for a, for a guy that's at the that's at the campus. Okay. Anyway, so we get the fairs, get the fair state, and we get out, you know, everything. So anyway, I get in my room. I'm going to the I'm going to the cafeteria. I said, oh man, I left something. I think I left something in Kevin's bag. So I go to Kevin's room to get the, my keys or something. And guess who eating the sandwich? He was. He said, oh, man, uh, uh, my, uh, busy in here, man, so I ate it. So that's about Kevin, kid. But anyway, man. <laughs>
<laughs> you still my boy. I love you, man. And whatever you do, Daryl, Kevin, Fever State. Oh, listen, y'all. Remember, we having that Fever State cookout on the 21st of May. I think. I hope I'm saying I turn 21st. Listen, we want we want we want everybody to come out there have fun. We got fun. I'm gonna be there. I hope Kevin be there. You know, I don't know if Daryl gonna be there or not, but uh. We put a plea out. But anyway, we're going to have fun out there. We're going to laugh and we're going to joke. I think it's going to probably be one of the greatest cookouts. Trust me. Look at my look, look at my cookouts ever. But anyway, Kevin, I love y'all. Daryl, I love y'all. And I love Feather State. Bronco, Bronco for life. Bronco Pride. Yeah, Bronco for life. Glenn Seven, whatever you do, it's what? Follow your dreams.